it should start loading Minecraft. You um, see that Mojang lo lo logo, and then you see this logo, which I have not seen before. And I'd be interested to see what they uh, to um what they are. Anyway, this is Minecraft new n n new um, Nintendo 3 3 3DS edition. And the weird thing is that it says new new Nintendo Switch. I mean new. It says Minecraft new Nintendo 3DS edition. And it's like wait. Is this new? Did it come like out this week? Oh, let's see. <laughs> let's load the world, and we shall be good, right? And we'll uh, I'm gonna check if full screen will work here. Might be weird. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stay in this. Um, move that over. No. Give me a second, bro. And uh, we need to move that. Because it's covering some of the screen. Well, it's not very much anyway. Let's control Z. And that should be all good. Maybe um, go back into here. And um, so I am you I am using my um, controller here and you can play Minecraft. And the weird thing about this em emulator is that for ramps um, if if we go back to desktop and and then we go to um tools I mean em Emulation and then go to here. I mapped all of this, but the um, triggers do, um, don't seem to respond in this program, which is quite strange. But that's okay because, but it's um, kind of weird because my um, my my um, break button is um, um, RB. And then for a place it's LB. And to um, go across the hotbar, that is the D pad. Going left and right. Anyway, we um, break some wood here. And. Yeah. <coughs> but um, continuing that question Why does Minecraft look so old? I guess it's. I guess it was a lie. This is an this is an old update. Anyway, I'm not sure what update this is. It's hard to tell. Anyway, and now, um, with this down here, we um, can go and open the crafting menu and make some wood. And then make a crafting table. We can go and place this crafting table here. Open it. And then we can go and make some more wood pickaxe. And we can make a pickaxe here. We can go and get some stone. Uh, that grass grew fast, anyway. And the sense and the sense the sensitivity is a bit too high. That's fine. Anyway. Uh I'll just go through the kind of weird things about this um, about this virgin 
So the first thing is that the map is right down here. You um, get a free map. And um, obviously this is true because like um, <coughs> in um, in um, console editions there um, you um, get a map when you spawn. But um, uh, this uh, like um, you um, don't have to hold the map to see the map, which is a very big advantage to most things. Oh, I forgot to change it back. I'm so stupid. Anyway, um, so like um, there is there there is a map, and um, you um, don't have to hold it in your hotbar to see it. Which is a big advantage. And um, whereas in most versions, it um, it um, is an item. So it's the question if is if you can make a compass in this version. I'm um, probably not gonna go. T uh, let's go into creative mode and see that. Uh, save and quit. Now you press start, play, new world, you'll name this, uh, map, press ok, and we will go in down here, make this creator mode, click play, and just wait for it to load. <coughs> mm. Let's see what things are in the game. So if we go into creative mode, I mean into the inventory. Um, let's see if we have a map. I'm not sure where you even find the map in the old versions, but it's probably not in the game. I, I like it. Damn what? It then would be right here, but it's not. Um, let's try some things. Let's see if the Elytra is in the game. And it is not, I don't think. Like, I'd like to know what version of Minecraft this is. And there's a lot of enchantments here. TNT is probably the most exciting thing here. And the cool thing is that you can use your mouse. Let's get some armor. Then you go here, you paste, you put them on. We just press Y. No. Anyway, we have armor on now, and you um, can fly just like normal. And here's the TNT. And the game mine looks look a bit pig 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 pixel pixely, but um, that's how the game looked because like it's because and the um, three DS is is a small device, and I don't think there's any way of changing the resolution here. Config. Uh, graphics. <laughs> Native. Uh, oh, okay. You can change the the internal res res resolution, but there's no nineteen 
by 720. Anyway. What happens if we do that? Oh. Whoa. It gets more. The game just, uh. Fix itself a little bit. If we config again. I'll do auto this time so that it's not like too much. Okay, I put I put it at the default and still quite bad. So if we go we go back to native. It's okay. That's what it looks like right now. I'll just keep going up until I get a perfect uh, sharpness. I, I think this is the best. But anyway, oh god, that's so weird. I, t I think it's because like it's I'm trying to display more pixels, and like Minecraft is not supposed to look like that. Anyway, like it's I'm trying to configure the textures in, in a strange way. So I'm gonna keep it at the normal. Um, so there's sheep. Let's see what kind of redstone we can do. And also, I like handsome bro. You know, we go and hit some redstone. We have contract, uh, a comparator, a dropper. Um, and we need redstone, of course. Um, so now we place these around. Ah. I'm gonna try and reload the game because it looks quite strange. Um, anyway, graphics. Let's go and reboot the game here. Like I think I. I think I think it looks weird when like the game is not being re restarted.
Anyway, let's go back to survival. And we'll see if we can find diamonds. That's our goal right now. So, we have a pickaxe. And we're gonna want to go and uh, make a stone one. I thought we had a crowding table, and there it is. this and we will go and find some diamonds by finding some caves that's then probably the best way of doing it cow I get fully loads a proper ver a pro a proper version of the game instead of having some low end version like um Minecraft Pi edition. Anyway. Which is also another edition to check out. But I probably won't be able to do it because you need a a a Raspberry Pi. I'm not sure if you can run. Uh, wait. I think you just need Python and it would work. Anyway. Because it. Because, like, the. I think the operating system is mostly lin Linux based. So, yeah. Anyway. Um. We can see our coordinates here. And we can just stick down, I think. But that would take too long and be boring. So, see, oh, go break this. And dig. And, and the game um, slows down at times if there's too many inputs going um happening Mm-hmm. 
I, don't, I still don't see a cave. But um, I think this version is, is sort of built off of the pocket edition. Because it feels like this. Anyway. That just digs st straight down, and if he died, then that's then 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 we'll end the video, and we found a cave. Fun. Can I change the brightness here? Graphics. I barely change anything. Anyway, it's not time now. So great. Will I'm end the video once my pig axe dies? Uh, it's gold. Looks quite strange. We um, just have to see diamonds. Anyway. I know that we've done it once we fall into a hard rock. Thank you. Um, there's something different here. I'm gonna go to the end of the world. To see if there's a border. Are those clouds purple? Did the bedrock glitch come to here? Huh. And that just disappears. Okay. Anyway.
Like there should be a border. Oh god. We're not moving. Did the game crash? The game stopped working. The game froze. Oh my god. I'm done with this game. Uh, see, see ya on Twitch.tv tonight.